Okay, we all use batteries, right? Like this, you know, these little things that we put in everything that we <laughs> runs. <yeah. laughs> and we spend fortune on this thing. Well, this next interview, man, every battery manufacturer is going to be really pissed off at this guy because he found out a way to extend the life of a battery almost, God, 800 times. That's right. Because he did a whole bunch of studies, and there are other independent studies that have done that show a lot of the times we're only using like 80%, I mean 20% of the energy that's in the battery. You know, so from 50 to maybe 80% of the battery after we, when we throw it away is still good, but we don't know because the flashlight, when we turn it on, it says, oh, it's weak. And so it's not lighting up and that's it. But it's like he explained it to me, you see this interview, it's like the toothpaste, you know, the top part, you know, when you squeeze the toothpaste, it's gone. So then the battery, the, the flashlight think it's all gone, but down in the bottom, <laughs> there's still a lot of juice. And that's why we roll up the toothpaste thing and squeeze the bottom. Well, there's nothing to do that you know for batteries but now there is it's a little almost invisible sleeve you put on your battery 800% more more <laughs> so think of all the money you're saving on batteries yeah <laughs> and he's gosh if you just make hundreds of thousands of dollars you know uh, getting funding now to go into production with this that's why I see if you have a neat idea to do something in life, you know, and put the big guys, you think the battery manufacturers will love something like that? No, it's going to take an independent a person like you. <laughs> Before, we used to have to go to the battery manufacturers and, and, and find out how to make a deal with them. We don't anymore. There's no gatekeepers. There's just ideas and the rest of the community that's out there on the internet that will help you do things that you think is important, you know, because it probably is. And you just have to find a, a few people who believe like you do that what you have as an idea is important. That's all it takes. And there's billions of people on the internet that you could find. You know, sure it takes work. It's not gonna be just, you know, <laughs> turning on your computer and money flies in, but it doesn't take money. That's the important thing. So it's gonna take effort for you to find these people and find the other people that, hey, yeah, that makes sense. And I believe in that and I think we should do that. And that's what's so neat. When you have somebody saying, hey, what you, the idea you have is important and I will help you support that because of, well, the world needs that, you know? That's what's so cool. Anybody could do that now. You don't have to go on Shark Tank and impress some hot shot who doesn't even know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> Just because they got lucky once. <laughs> but you getting lucky now doesn't depend on that. You know, that Shark Tank guy or, or you know, some big fat can company or whatever. It depends on all the people out there that you can find now through the internet. They're there. And if they think it's uh, a value, then they'll help you do that. And that's where there's platforms like these crowdfunding platforms that people check in for ideas. So that's a way to find these people now. You know, so watch this interview. He's a very nice man. And actually it came because of his kids and his brother's kids. He and his brother were out like, uh, uh, I think in Utah or somewhere um, skiing and they ran out of batteries. <laughs> Why do they not last longer? And with that question, man, he's got a couple hundred thousand dollars now <laughs> that answer it. So watch this. Well, Bob Ruparva, you must be the smartest man in the world, man, <laughs> to tackle the battery problems we have. Man, I'm throwing batteries out, it seems like, every day of my life. And they go into landfills, they're ruining the planet and everything. And we, it seems like we haven't figured out technology enough, you know, until you came along to solve this problem. So you're going to get almost like the average person with a battery now is going to save, you know, like five to eight times the price of a battery with just a little slim device you put around the battery and it lasts up to eight times longer. Wow! And it costs almost nothing to get your <laughs> little sleeve or battery sleeve or whatever. It's just genius. Why are you such a genius? <laughs> How did you come up with this to do this?
Well, uh, my brother Frankie is uh, is a holder of over five hundred patents. Wow! So you is a younger brother or older brother? He's a, he's a younger brother. Ah, see the uh, <laughs> he had to work harder. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he he's a genius. He, he really is a great guy. And uh, once uh, he was in Tahoe with his kids, and they wanted to have battery. They ran out of battery at eleven o'clock at night in a cold, snowy night. <laughs> You know, being being an electrical engineer, he always carries a voltmeter. He goes and look at the bin of the used one, the used batteries, and he finds out that most of the batteries have 1.3, 1.4 volts, uh, and but they didn't, but they weren't working under the device. And uh, when he came back from Tall, he says, "You're in the power management. Uh, is there any way that we can boost up this voltage?" I said, "Yeah, absolutely, we can do it." And he says, is there any energy left? And we sat down and did quite a bit of calculation. We found out there were a significant amount of energy still left in most of those batteries that uh, that they were in his, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> candidate to end up in a landfill. So uh, then we put a patent together and, uh, and we started working on, the, on this project. And the project was, you know, to, to be able to uh, extract and harness all the remaining energy out of every battery before it gets thrown away because it saves consumer time, it saves them money, it's convenient, and also save our planet. Yeah. Uh, therefore, we started working hard at it, and the, the challenge was you know, to design our own IC, to, to design our own. It's an integrated chip, IC, right? <laughs> you had to teach me before. And the, the, the sleeve, in a matter that it will fit most compartments. I mean, yeah. you know, imagine that, uh, uh, the, the jewel thief has been around, you know, the concept of boosting a voltage has been around for a long time. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me. Uh, but however, the fact that we have been able to miniaturize the product um, and being able to put it in, you know, in the battery, uh, you know, slip the battery on it and put it inside the device, it has to be so thin that it can fit the device. And also, uh, the genius idea about this whole thing is you know, the, the boost circuitry that we have in there, it starts from 0 0.5 volts all the way to one and a half volts. So such part, such part that it can put out over one and a half amp of current uh, doesn't exist in the market. So we had to go and, and you know, and come up with a design of uh, this IC as well. Uh, so there's been there's been tremendous amount of uh, work that we have put into to get to where we are at this point. Wow. So in other words, you we explained earlier, like you're you're really the guy who's rolling up the bottom of the toothpaste tube to have all the juice on top to, to make your stuff still run like four, five, six, seven, eight times longer than they are now by just putting this little coat on the battery that doesn't affect the size hardly at all, does it? That's right. That's right. It's and very that, thin stuff. And that was the, the the key that you were able to miniaturize this chip enough now to be able to do that finally. That's right. Uh, yeah. The miniaturization has been able to, you know, has enabled us actually to achieve uh, uh, where we are right now. So now on, on Indiegogo, man, and you're selling a heck out of this thing. You got thousands and thousands of people <laughs> because for 20 bucks you get into this thing, right? And, and you can, you know, well, you're going to make 20 bucks back in a, in a few days almost, at least in my house, you know, to, to do this. And uh, and you're going to be shipping in November. And so, uh, and really, as long as the campaign is on, otherwise you may have to wait for a long time to see these again. So it's really behooves people if you're spending too much on batteries you need one of these and it's all about technology isn't it that, that drives everything now and is going to save so many problems we have it, it really is I mean I mean, I mean uh, this is very simple elegant technology and everybody when you talk with them most engineers says my goodness how come we didn't think about this <laughs> it's so simple and it's so elegant and so disruptive yeah. and innovative at the same time so uh uh, we believe that this is going to be a game changer. This is yeah. going to be absolutely somebody that everybody can use. And uh, on the average, every household uh, has 28 uh, different battery operated devices. And on the average, every device takes a couple of couple batteries. So uh, a regular household can go through 60 batteries per year. So, you know, having, wow. having a batterizer to be able to extract all the energy out of the battery before you throw it away it's it's a, it's a good thing 
Well, just the thought of replacing. I mean, if I get this, and you know, maybe it goes out in two months. Now I have maybe a year before I have to change the battery. I mean, that, that, that's phenomenal to me. You know, I don't have to worry about. It. I just my, my lights went out about two two hours ago, and, and I ran for the battery. You know, my, my flashlight, and that sucker was <laughs> dead. My battery, my flashlight was dead. Thank God it was still light outside here. I I really didn't need it. But that's a life with this. So you're going to extend that life for us and, and solve so many problems. And, and I think the landfill issue is probably the most important thing, uh, you know, the, for the environment kind of wise. And it, and it took, you know, you and your brother, or is it your brother and you, the younger brother is smarter? My goodness, I'm not going to tell my younger brother that. <laughs> oh, he's, a, he's a genius. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. And to find out more about this, you got wonderful videos on uh, on your Indiegogo site. I, I love watching all the videos, even with the little, uh, you know, toy that's, you know, the, the monkey that's clapping the symbols. It's a wonderful video. And it's Batterizer, B A T T E R. I S E R, right? Dot com. It rises the battery. It rises the voltage. Right. It, it resurrects the battery. Oh, brings it back to that's life. It. It's rising. Rolling up the tube on the tube face, right? <laughs> and we mentioned earlier, it's raising the water, not lowering the bridge. And it, and it took your genius brother to do that, and you're just along for the ride. That's nice. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Bob. Fun to talk with you and a great product. And thanks for saving our energy <laughs> problems. And more important, our money, man. We're wasting money on batteries. Now we don't have to. Thank you so much.